Welcome to Topic A, everyone. I'm your host, Gary Perna. This week on Topic A, we're talking with members of the Hazleton Rotary Club about the fourth annual Wine in Beer Festival taking place in August here in the greater Hazleton area. We're going to talk all about it and how you can get involved and where you can even get tickets and what they'll have. Well, we have some samples here. We'll fill you in when we come back on Topic A only on WYLN. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You'll get to meet Jessica Noss, a busy mom of two little children who has gone from wheelchair to fully recovered in four months thanks to great chiropractic care. What an amazing story. It's this week. Join us. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Go hog wild for Iron Pigs Baseball. WYLN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs Live. America's favorite pastime on your local network, WYLN TV 35. See the Major League Stars of Tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WYLN TV 35. Visit WYLNTV.com for a complete Iron Pig schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WYLN, your home for live sports. Welcome back to Topic A, everyone. I'm Gary Perna, and I'm very pleased to be joined by uh, two great members of the Hazleton Rotary Club, uh, Dorothy and Ron. Ron, you're the current president, and Dorothy, you're the chairperson of the uh, Wine and Beer Festival. So before we get into the festival, um, I want to start with you, Ron, to give us a little bit of a background of the, the Rotary Club. You know, what is Rotary? Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we hear about it a lot. We come to your meetings uh, mm -hmm. and, and when you have some guest speakers, but, you know, what is Rotary? Well, believe it or not, Gary, a lot of people don't know what Rotary is. And because of that, uh, we try to get the word out. Rotary basically is an international humanitarian service organization throughout the world. Mm -hmm. uh, from that, our Rotary members are business and professional leaders who volunteer to go out to use their expertise uh, in, in the works and everyday, in everyday things that they do to help out the communities and to help out uh, the countries worldwide. One of our main priorities uh, and one of our goals, I should say, is to eradicate polio. Mm -hmm. uh, and as everyone knows, back in the 50s, that was a big disease that was going on. Right. And uh, right now, with the cooperation of the world uh, health organization, right. um, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh -huh. and other different or, uh, country organizations, uh, they have, how should I say, almost eliminated the second human disease in history other than smallpox. Wow. And we got rid of, uh, I say, within 99% reduction since 1985 of polio. Wow. Uh, that is one of the one goals that we started out with. Plus, we help in the communities. Uh, okay. The communities, we've, do, we've done a lot of different projects. Uh, for example, uh, dictionaries. We give dictionaries out. I think last year we gave over 750 dictionaries to um, kids in third mm -hmm. grade wow. in the Hazleton, in the Hazleton uh, School District. Uh, we do that every year. 
obviously with our expense. Uh, the other ones we do is uh, kids' coats. It's another project that we do in the winter time where uh, we give out needy kids who don't have right, right. the coats uh, for winter. We gave out 450 coats last year. Wow! And the other thing we have, uh, well, we do different uh, other projects. Uh, for example, we give scholarships out through mm -hmm. our Rotary Foundation. Uh, from the Rotary Foundation, I think this year we gave out three scholarships at $4,000 each. Wow. Uh, and we hope to uh, continue with that and probably get more, uh, more scholarships throughout the, uh, the upcoming future right. years, you know. Uh, different things, um, for example, we just sent a child, uh, a local child from Hazleton down through Make-A-Wish mm -hmm. Foundation down in Florida. Uh, for Disney World, yes. you know, uh, it's something that's very gratifying. Mm -hmm. um, they sent pictures back and how much he enjoyed himself and everything else. But this is the stuff we do, and different projects uh, like the the trails projects that we uh, put benches out, mm -hmm. uh, obviously with our rotary name on it, and uh, Coriel, um, the stadium, the here? stadium over yeah. here uh, that. We, we did some things with that. Uh, all that costs money. Mm -hmm. And this is why we have our fundraisers. Uh, we have quite a few fundraisers that we do. Mainly two of them are our big fundraisers. And obviously the one that's coming up is one of our biggest fundraisers right now. And yeah. um, the, with the Wine and Beer Festival, it was the beer festival for the last uh, right. th uh, three years. Um, and Dorothy, you came up a couple of weeks ago and were on the news with us, and we did a little bit uh, preview of it. But this is a unique event. I, when I said this in the interview that we did a couple of weeks ago, I said, you know, why did you guys ever come up with this? You know, this is something cool. <laughs> this is something a little different that appeals not only to you know, may, maybe younger generation, uh, you know, in their 21s through 31, mm -hmm. but, you know, you'll get uh, some older people as well, and you get some people who are like, well, you know what, I've never tried this type of, mm -hmm. you know, whether wine or beer. Uh, so how did this all come about? Well, one of our members uh, came up with the idea, and it's, it's a terrific idea. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun, like you said, and uh, there's nothing like this in the Hazelton area. Usually you have to drive out of the area, mm -hmm. up north, and uh, it's, it's about time we do some things here for <laughs> our people. Uh, and as you said, it, it is for younger adults, older adults, everybody in between. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the opportunity to try something new. So it is a lot of fun. So you're coming out, you're having a great beverage, you're having a great time, and you're helping out people in the community indirectly. So it's uh, Saturday, August 15th. It's from 4 until 8 at uh, Genetti's on Route 309 here in Hazel Township. Correct. Um, and there is a lot going on, not only just the beer and the wine, but there's also some entertainment. You got some food there as well. Mm -hmm. the poster's up on our screen right now. So before I go any further away, this is up on our screen. Give us some of the details and where people can find tickets uh, available for this. Okay. The tickets can be purchased online um, at hazeltonrotary.ticketleap.com or better yet, right here locally. We mm -hmm. have over 100 members in the Hazelton Rotary Club. You can um, purchase them from there. We also have tickets for sale at Janetti's Catering, mm -hmm. the Beer Stop in West Hazelton. Um, let's see and of course online so and, and I have them right here so. <laughs> actually I think you're even going to be giving some we away. We are all this um, all this uh, coming week uh, leading up to the festival we'll be giving up tickets here on WYLN on our news so make sure you to keep that channel tuned in the channel uh, 35 here and we'll have all, all the ticket information for you as well so this event is cool because it is different types of beer yes. different types of wine um, people can sample so walk us through it you know, okay. what, what do we see when we come uh, to the festival? Okay. Now, you did mention wine this year mm -hmm. is something new that has the, its own s section, and, of course, the craft beer is another section. Uh, by coming in, you will get um, the first 500 people in will get a koozie, okay. and that's from the beer stop in West Hazleton. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be able to try the different types of wines and the different types of craft beers. Now, when I say craft beer, uh, we, we all know the big the big 
breweries, uh, the Coors, the, the mm -hmm. Anheuser-Busch, and they'll be there too with some of their seasonal beers. Mm -hmm. uh, but this gives you the opportunity to try something different. When you go into, I don't know if you've been into a beer store, but <laughs> if you have, there are just so many different types out right. there, and it's like, oh, what should I get? And you really don't know. <laughs> Me, myself, I generally end up getting the same thing over and over mm -hmm. again because I don't want to take that chance and try something new. This gives you the opportunity. We have three different types here that uh, were donated by the Beer Stop. Mm -hmm. They'll be one of our uh, vendors there. And you get to try a little bit of everything to find out if you like it. And if you don't like it, fine. But this right. uh, does give you a great opportunity. All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk some more about what different types of beer, some types of wine, some food that will be available, and even entertainment as well. All that's coming up when we return here on Topic 8 only on WYLN. All Care Home Care, the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there. WYLN, first in live sports. We bring you the event, not just the highlights. Live coverage of the high school football season starts September 4th on WYLN. We're your local network. Hey everyone, want some close to home fun? Join the Keystone Active Zone Passport Program to create your own backyard adventure exploring parks, trails, and events. It's fun, easy, and it's free. This year's Passport has more than 30 stops. Enjoy Riverfest in Wilkesbury and Pittston. Discover the DNL Trail and more. Register at kazpassport.org. Visit as many stops as you want. Each stop has a question. Find the answers and log them in on the website. Start exploring today. The Beer Garage, 202 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. More than just beer, coffee, all sizes, only $1. Get your lottery tickets here, too. Stop in today, The Beer Garage in Hazleton. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Get the entire story when it's convenient for you. And get it from WYLN News. Two daily newscasts from your number one source for local news. WYLN's Evening Edition, News at 530. And WYLN's Late Edition, News at 10. More than just headlines. It's the whole story. In-depth reporting on hot topics and more. Plus the area's most accurate weather report from the WYLN Weather Center. More news, weather, and sports twice a day. Only on WYLN, where your local network. Welcome back to Topic A, everyone. I'm Gary Kern, and I'm joined by Dorothy and Ron from the Hazleton Rotary Club. We're talking about the uh, Saturday, August 15th, uh, Hazleton Wine and Beer Festival. This is the fourth annual event uh, you guys are having. We talked about what a unique event it was, and it's something different. Um, Dorothy, you guys have a lot of local uh, people there who maybe brew their own beer, mm -hmm. have their own type uh, you know, of, of wine. You know, and that's kind of cool to see the variety right here, you know, in the coal region, right here in our backyard. Yes, it is. It's great. Actually, uh, I found out by going to our beer fest about the Cunningham Brewery mm -hmm. right here in Cunningham, Pennsylvania. Uh, they make an excellent jalapeno beer. I don't oh, know if you've ever heard of that. No. And from drinking, it became one of my favorites, and it's great. You can uh, purchase it in local restaurants, mm -hmm. and they just actually started bottling it. Yeah. And uh, I know you can get that at the beer stop also. It goes great with nachos. 
and Foster, <laughs> yeah, Foster from the Genetti's Catering in Hazleton. He is has added special to the menu this year: nachos and fresh salsa to oh, go okay. along with uh, with the jalapeno beer. But then there's also Berwick Brewery mm -hmm. is invited, uh, Cunningham Brewery, Turkey Hill. Um, there's so many different ones out there. Mm -hmm. So this, as you see, we we gave you. Uh, we're going to give you a treat. Yeah, we have a little. We have uh, three that uh, Dorothy and Ron brought with them. Um, they were brewed right here. Um, different types, and Dorothy has it down to a science. Uh, the mm -hmm. whole nine yards, what they are. So the first one. The first one, if if you would like to uh, have a glass, gentlemen. This one is a Belgium triple ale. Okay. Okay. So of course uh, now you'll, it smells like a brewery in here now. Yeah, it does. It smells good. <laughs> so these are uh, these will be available there mm -hmm. for sampling as well. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this and um, you know what you think of it. I what, take a little sip. What do I? I like it. <laughs> what else can I say? There's a rainbow of beer. Actually, everything from pilsners. Um, mm -hmm. Here I have here I'm a little cheat sheet there <laughs> from. Uh, Several different types. Um, some of them are um, woody. Some of them are fruity. Uh, some are sh are bitter. Some are sweet. Mm -hmm. So it's once again, it gives you the opportunity by tasting it to see what you like. So and what do you think of the Belgium? That was uh, pretty like good. That, that, yeah. that was good. It was different right. a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> A Ron, okay. Ron said in, in the beginning as a disclaimer, he's not really that big of a, of a beer guy. He was more on the wine That's side of things. That's why we have the wineries. We have eight <laughs> different wineries coming. So, uh, but I didn't grab the wineries. They're a little bit too further away. Uh, these local ones I was able to get. And this all, uh, again, and just to point out, this all goes to programs you guys do each and every year yes. uh, throughout the community and you know throughout the world through uh, Rotary International. Mm -hmm. You guys mm -hmm. are all a part of. Um, so the the second one we have here is a porter. Yes, that would be this one here. That's the darker, the darker beer. You can okay. see there's a big difference there. And this one also be there through a distributor as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what do you think of the porter? It's good. It has more of a of a deeper, maybe a coffee taste, or would you say? It's a lighter taste. You think? Yeah, really, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It has a little lighter. Yeah. I've, I've had that one before. You've had that yeah, one. You like that one? Uh huh. That is yeah. a local uh, brewery there. Yes, and it's mm -hmm. it's 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 a good one, and it's it's different. Uh, yeah, and then and then this one? we have an IPA. The other nice thing about uh, going to a festival such as this is you get to try so mm -hmm. many different over forty different beers, um, but also you get to talk to the brewers themselves, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. And, and they tell you they tell you about IPA and. Uh, how it was made, and um, you also get to talk to mm -hmm. the distributors mm -hmm. and find out uh, what they know. So it's a good time. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so it does give you a lot of opportunity to try something new, and of and, course, and get the wine. You, you get to your number one. Uh, you're you're learning what's going on, yes. and, and you understand that they talk to you a little bit about how things are made, what's going on, how they do it. Um, and how it's made locally. Uh, yes. In, in you wouldn't under really comprehend until you talk to one of them how you know crops in our area uh -huh. go uh, go into this, and then how um, byproducts of the making of the beer um, go back out into the fields. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a cool history lesson as well. Um, so the third one you talked about the IPA, mm -hmm. and Ron got to take a little a little sip of yeah. where we were talking. Uh, this one is a light color, but what do you think? Mm -hmm. This is more citrusy. I can taste some grapefruit in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. last year and this year too. Now, last year we had um, the uh, Luzerne County Brewers Association mm -hmm. was there, but also Simply Homebrewed was there. That's a, a local uh, vendor in the area where you can actually buy these, buy everything you need to make wine and to make the beer. And last year they actually cooked some right there. Wow. So you got to smell the, the hops and mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. So it has a very good smell. It does, yes. Mm -hmm. Also at the uh, at the festival, you guys are going to have uh, some food available, yes. as well as some entertainment. So, what can people ex uh, not only with the beer and the wine, mm -hmm. but food wise, uh, genities as well, helping you guys out with that, and some great entertainment. Oh yes, Ostrich Hat, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite bands. It's a local band. Uh, yes, Jeff. <laughs> they've 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 been with us. This is their third year with us, and they bring a, a nice crowd. And uh, between now and then. 
then they're giving tickets away too mm -hmm. at their event. So if you um, go and uh, see them play someplace else, you can get them. So they'll be there. Um, and also we'll have some artisans, some different vendors, some mm -hmm. craft jewelry. Oh, and the Pocono Greyhounds will be there. So if you like <laughs> Greyhounds, if you're interested in possibly adopting one and you want to meet one, you meet can one. come there too. Yeah. So it's a, it kind of a, you know, it goes from four until eight. So it's a all evening type thing. Mm -hmm. You you know, walk around, you get some food, you'd be able to get uh, a sample of the beer and the wine from four to eight at Gin Eddie's, uh, of course on Route 309 in Hazleton. Tickets are still available by seeing any of the Rotary members going to the website, um, stopping at, by at an ostrich hat uh, performance, yes. <laughs> and also uh, we'll be giving away tickets here on WYLN News um, all week uh, long coming up. So I had fun. This has to be one of my favorite topic days so far that we got to do. Thank you. So um, we have two minutes before we go to break. What are, um, you mentioned about some of the great things that will be going on there, uh, some of the project you guys do uh, every year with um, the money raised through this. Um, some of the major sponsors that helped you guys out, of course, uh, DBI. Yes. Uh, and I was reading on your website that, again, they've partnered with you guys to help uh, make this happen. They are terrific. They are very supportive in everything we do. Um, Besides uh, being a member of Rotary, mm -hmm. of course, they do sponsor most of our events, too. We also have uh, several other, um, mm -hmm. uh, First General is a First sponsor, yeah. uh, Avellino Enterprises, mm -hmm. of course, at your service. Um, Karshner. Karshner mm -hmm. Companies, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, uh, Arc Electric, mm -hmm. um, and uh, there is a beauty supply, um, I do apologize, and Amy's... Uh, uh, towing is mm -hmm. also going to Amy's Body Shop. So there is plenty of people who really have uh, jumped in to help. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a short break. We'll come back. We're going to recap everything here on Topic A. Stay with us. Things move a little slower here in DSLville. Slow pitch softball is big here really big. There's not a fast food restaurant in town. Zero. Get the most out of the internet. Get Service Electric High Speed Internet. Call Service Electric today to sign up. Ho, 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 ho. Slow down. Tourists. Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcasted television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on The Storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional air times. Only on WYLN TV 35, we're your local network. This week on Topic A, members of the Rotary Club of Hazleton will be joining me to talk about the fourth annual Wine and Beer Festival taking place August 15th in Hazel Township. You'll want to make sure you tune in to get all the information about the Rotary Club and about the Wine and Beer Festival. This week on Topic A, only on WYLN. WYLN TV 35 has strong ties to the community as evident in its commitment to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helping Hand Society Tilt Funds. WYLN's commitment to Northeastern Pennsylvania continues with a broadcast of Hazelton's Fun Fest Parade and both Christmas and St. Patrick's Day parades in Wilkes-Barre. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Giants of Spare Hill Flag and throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other events. WYLN, we're your local network. Welcome back to Topic A, everyone, everyone. And we are talking about the fourth annual uh, Hazleton Rotary Wine and Beer Festival, which will be taking place August uh, 15th in Hazel Township at Gen Eddy's. And uh, Dorothy and Ron, we have about uh, four minutes left. And I want to just recap some of the stuff we talked about uh, first. And, and Ron, I want to go to you, just recap a little bit about Rotary um, you know, and your mission and what you guys do um, you know, every day. Well. I'll try to, uh, to recap it basically uh, is our motto is service above self mm -hmm. and 
it's helping out the community. It's helping out internationally, to the communities internationally, uh, whether it's a, a water project, whether it's uh, giving out dictionaries. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's finding a need in the community, whether it's international or locally. And this is what basically what we do. And, and you have all businessmen and professionals uh, who have their own expertise in how to do a lot of this stuff and raise some money. And, and it's, it's well worthwhile, it really is. And I know, um, you know each Wednesday you guys have your, your business meetings mm -hmm. and type of name. speakers come in. We've right. covered so many of them. You know, I've actually uh, went and covered them and learned from some of the speakers that were there, congressmen's uh, representatives, right. business leaders throughout the community there uh, talking as well. And on the, the Wine and Beer Festival, okay. uh, Dorothy, give us the rundown one more time, time, place, everything, how we can get tickets. Okay. It's going to be Saturday, August the 15th, uh, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Janetti's Catering. Mm -hmm. And it's actually outside. We have tents, so we'll be able to enjoy the wonderful weather. We are going to have live entertainment mm -hmm. with Ostrich Hat. We're going to have your samples of um, the uh, craft beers, as I showed, but also lots of samples of the wine, mm -hmm. telling you the difference between the dry and the sweet, um, a Chardonnay. Um, so there, once again, as many beers as out there, there's also the wine out there. So this is a great event to do that. We also have the artisans. We'll mm -hmm. have the, the greyhounds there. Uh, Janetti's Catering is going to make a lot of good foods, some bratwurst and uh, pierogies and lots of good food. So you'll be there able to um, eat some good food while you're having good beverages. And of course, having fun and enjoying everything. Yes. That's what it's about. And, and all the money goes to Rotary to help them do these, all these great projects they do each and every year. Somebody wants to get tickets, how can they do so? Um, once again, that would be hazeltonrotary.ticketleap.com. Mm -hmm. Any one of the hundred Rotarians in the area, I have tickets, come see me. <laughs> um, you can win them here yes. from YLN or from Ostrich Hat, or you can also purchase them from the Beer Stop in West Hazelton. Um, and uh, Janetti Catering also has them. And this, uh, again... Um, or at the door. We're at the door. At the you can get them at the yes. door. And you also have a, a ticket available for a designated driver. Yes. That they can still eat and, yes. and do some of the other and stuff. And enjoy as well. the music. And yes, it's a $10 designated driver ticket, which is wonderful. It mm -hmm. uh, gets you out. Um, you don't have to go to drink to have a good time. I mean, right. this is a. Uh, and a lot of people who come aren't there to, to overindulge. They're there to, as I said, sample the different types of beverages that mm -hmm. are there and learn and find something good for themselves. All right, so we got about a minute left. So we sampled three of them here. What, yes. are, our, what are our favorites? Yes. Oh, okay, my favorite. Well, uh, I'm torn. I, I like the IPA because it is a citrusy mm -hmm. uh, type, but I also like... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to try them a little bit more because I only had a little sip. And Ron? I have to go with the porter. Yeah, the porter. Ron and I uh, both uh, agreed on the porter yeah, that that was our, our favorite one here. But um, again, uh, thank you guys so much for coming on thank and, and talking about this. Us. This was uh, fun. We learned a lot uh, about Rotary and about the, of course, the fourth annual Hazelton Wine and Beer Festival, August uh, 15th. It's Saturday mm -hmm. from 4 until 8 at uh, Gennetti's. Uh, on Route 309 in Hazel Township. Of course, some entertainment, some great food, sampling all uh, around as well. That is our Topic 8 for this week. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Remember, this is where the community comes to talk. We'll see you next time here on Topic 8, only on WYLN.